working on my 2009 Chevy Cobalt and today I'm going to be replacing the charcoal canister and these are also called the evap canister or the carbon canister and my car has 368,000 miles my car currently has 368,569 miles and the original charcoal canister has lasted this entire time um, but if you get a check engine light with a P0449 or P0446 a lot of times they'll come up as a charcoal canister or here's the vent valve for it and the the new ones cost anywhere from $158 to $215. I have a canister from a low mile car that only had 45,000 miles on it. So this should be this should be good and have no problems. I need to replace just the canister vent valve. You just turn it to the unlock position right there and just pull out. it is and you feel it click in place when you lock it in so this evap canister has lasted 368,000 miles and this is the first time I've replaced it so there are a couple connectors this is for the vent valve and for replacing this just in the car then you remove the connector give it that half turn and then just pull it out. And then this, it slips right out. Remove the second wiring harness. Push down on this little tab right here and pulls right out. Then for the white connector, you push for the white connector if you push down on this side and there's one on the other side just push down at the same time and give it a wiggle and it just pulls right out same thing on the top one push down on both sides okay I'm gonna wait till I actually remove the canister for that one be a little stubborn okay on the green one you just push down Take a little flathead screwdriver and just push down on it, pulls right out. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait till I get this thing down a little bit. And then there's one 10, 10 millimeter bolt up top, and then it slides out of this bracket up here. These uh, evap canisters cost about $158 to maybe $215, depending on whether or not you get the aftermarket or factory. And because I had one from a low miles car, the one I took that that one off, I've only had 45,000 miles. So it should be fine. So now I'm gonna push it this way and it just slips right down. Now I'm gonna get this other one off. So let me show you how these are working. You push down both sides and it opens it up right there to loosen it up. And then on the green one, push down with a screwdriver and just pushes that one part back. 
And same thing with this one on both sides. The white one has both sides. And then it just slips on this little uh, part right here. This little tab right here. Now to push on the hoses, you just literally just push them on and snap, they snap right in. Uh, make sure you hear them click. And then hook up the electrical connections. vent valve right there. There we go. Give the car a quick start. And that is replacing the EVAP canister in a 2009 Chevy Cobalt. Now I'm going to be taking it apart. So, this is the vent valve.
Right, the other half. More charcoal. And that's what's inside. All right, looks like the only serviceable parts are uh, the vent valve, sensor, and access that filter. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Now you can see the EVAP lines go all the way from the fuel tank to the EVAP canister and then all the way to the purge valve where it goes into the engine to recycle the fumes.